Joe Biden stated on September 17, 2020, in a CNN town hall. If the president had done his job, had done his job from the beginning, all the people would still be alive. All the people. I'm not making this up. Just look at the data. Joe Biden wrongly claims Trump could have prevented every COVID-19 death. If your time is short. Experts said Joe Biden's claim that a different pandemic response from President Donald Trump would have prevented every coronavirus death goes too far. A more robust handling of the pandemic would likely have seen the country's death count significantly reduced, but not to zero, experts said. Even countries that have found relative success managing the coronavirus such as South Korea and New Zealand have seen some deaths. Roger Williams Stated on December 2, 2021, in an email. The number of COVID-19 deaths recorded so far in 2021 has surpassed the total for 2020. Roger Williams is accurate that there were more COVID-19 deaths in 2021 than in 2020. If your time is short. U.S. Representative Roger Williams, Republican Texas, cited Johns Hopkins data for his claim. Both Johns Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Center data and CDC mortality death certificate data indicate there were more deaths in 2021 than in 2020. What's the difference between a politician and a flying pig? The letter F. Religious Liberty, the Trump administration expanded religious and moral exemptions for mandated contraceptive coverage under Obamacare. Obama's signature legislation required that nearly all insurance plans cover abortion-inducing drugs and contraception, forcing citizens to violate sincerely held religious or moral beliefs, pay steep fines, or forego offering or obtaining health insurance entirely. The interim final rules note that the United States has a long history of providing conscience protections in the regulation of healthcare entities and individuals with objections based on religious beliefs and moral convictions. The rule aligns with the U.S. Supreme Court's unanimous ruling protecting the Little Sisters of the Poor, which says the government cannot fine religious groups for following their faith. <laughs> 